Hi, in this video I'm looking at finding the general solution to these two differential equations. So let's have a look at part A and we'll see how this is done. So part A has dy dx, so the derivative of y with respect to x is 2x plus cos x. And the general solution to the differential equation is to find out what the original function y is. And the way we do this is this is divide dx, so we can multiply both sides by dx, so that's going to give me dy equals 2x plus cos x all multiplied by dx, and then what we can do is take the integral of both sides. So now we actually have these two integrals to sort out the integral of dy and the integral of 2x plus cos x dy. So the integral of dy, well we have an invisible 1 in there, and so the integral of 1 dy is going to be y, and that's going to be equal to the integral of 2x plus cos x dx. Now 2x integrates to 2x squared on 2, and cos x integrates to sin x. And we also have a plus c that we've got to remember. And so we have y equals, the twos cancel out, so I've just got x squared plus sine x plus c. And because it's got a plus c in it, that makes it a general solution. If we had some information given to us, like initial conditions or a value later, we could work out what that c is. So now let's have a look at part b. Part b, we have dy dt equals t on the square root of t squared plus 9. And so we can turn this into dy equals t on the square root of t squared plus 9 dt and integrate both sides. And so we have integrating 1 dy gives us y and this one requires us to do substitution. So let's let u equal t squared plus 9. So du dt equals 2t. So dt equals du on 2t. So we have t on the square root of u multiplied by du on 2t. So our t's cancel out, and we still have our integral, we haven't done that yet. And so we take the half out the front, and we get the integral, and we'll change that u square root to u to the power of negative a half du. And so we get y equals a half outside of, add 1 to the power gives us u to the half, divide by the new power, so we'll divide by a half plus c, and so then we can have y equals one half, well u to the half, oh, dividing by half gives us two, so we'll times by two, and the half gives a square root, and we have u, which we can put in is t squared plus nine, and we have plus c, so lastly y is going to be the two times a half cancels out, the square root of t squared plus 9 plus c, and we're done. So, to find the general solution of two first order differential equations of the form dy dx is a function of x, or dy dt is a function of t in the case of part b, we rearrange it so that the dx is on the side with the equation in terms of x's, we integrate both sides, and leave our equation in the form of the solution plus c.